three decades of high stakes wagers on fuel efficient jet engine design and materials come together to form the new GE9X, which was recently selected to power Boeing's new 777X widebody. But it's the $2 billion bet wagered on the 9X's father, the GE90, that began a family line of technology firsts that would revolutionize modern air travel. It's a twisted retelling of a biblical classic with an untested propulsion Goliath starring as the oversized underdog with everything to prove. For aviation, there was arguably no darker time than the early 1990s, as soaring fuel costs helped bankrupt some of the world's most iconic airlines. But the string of bad news would come to an end, as surging demand for long-haul flights across the Pacific Ocean coincided with an even bigger development and from the most unlikely of sources. Aviation's regulatory bodies had begun loosening operating restrictions on fuel-efficient two-engine aircraft. For massive planes flying more than 10,000 miles per trip, the potential weight savings would translate to millions of dollars in fuel savings. Sensing the strong winds of change, Boeing and GE believed that demand for an unprecedented long-range two-engine aircraft would someday take off. The commercial engine manufacturers would compete to power this new market. That left GE Aviation's Brian Rowe with a critical decision. He could hedge his bets by building a derivative engine of the field-proven CF-6, or he could go all in and invest more than $2 billion in a brand new engine design for an evolving industry. The decision was easy. Brian knew that his CF-6 engine, which was perfect for shorter range transatlantic flights, didn't have the legs to connect larger aircraft to the corners of the world. Brian uh, had the vision that that airplane, was, which was then called 767X, would grow uh, beyond anything that we could power it with and that we needed to do a new engine. And that was the beginning of the GE90. The GE90 will provide a family of engines that will lead the way into the 21st century and continue the tradition of GE industry first. The GE90 truly was an engine from the future. Its innovative front fan and unprecedented pressure ratios would serve as the fuel-saving foundation for every engine that followed in its path including the GE NX engine on the Boeing 787, up through the new GE 9X engine for the new 777Y body. But looking back at the young engineers responsible for bringing this radical design to life, the only thing that rivaled the engine's pressure ratios was the pressure to execute. You woke up every morning thinking about the GE 90. You went to bed thinking about the GE 90. You woke up on Saturday in the office thinking about the GE90. That's all you did, because it was uh, such a radical change in design. The story of the GE9X begins on the front cover of the GE90, where a carbon fiber super alloy helped change the propulsion narrative forever. Probably the biggest technology of the GE90 was just how big the bypass ratio was. So if you take a look at that big fan, that led to a level of efficiency on that airplane and a level of thrust growth on that airplane that was remarkable. No one had ever thought about it. In order to get the diameter that big, you couldn't have a traditional fan. So that led to the technology of the fan blade, which is the uh, composite fan blades that we are known for to this day. This lightweight, handcrafted material shed hundreds of pounds off the GE90 and every engine that would follow it, leading to the fuel and maintenance savings that cast-strapped airlines treasured the most. None of our competitors have a composite fan blade in service today, and we'll be on our fourth generation by the time the GE9X goes into service. Certainly the blades were lighter, but the real enabler was the high pressure compressor capability. The improved airflow delivered by the engine's cold section helped the GE90 set the Guinness World Record for thrust, more than enough than what was needed for long haul flights over the Pacific Ocean. But today, with fuel costs higher than ever, the GE9X will rely on unique hot section technologies to improve fuel burn up to 10% over its predecessor. 
In addition to their heat resistancy and reduced weight, these new technologies are rewriting the rules on how parts can be manufactured and the type of materials those parts can be manufactured with. The GE9X will include combustor and high-pressure turbine components that are grown from the ground up with new materials like ceramic matrix composites that combine to trim hundreds of more pounds off the engine while improving durability. By combining these new high-performance materials with the larger fan and higher pressure ratios, we've really taken the baseline GE90 concept to a level that we couldn't even have dreamed of a decade ago. Even with the launch of the GE9X, the story of the GE90 is still being written today. It was revolutionary, it really was. And to this date, if you ask any customer what the one piece of equipment in their fleet that brings them the most yield and the most value, if they're flying the 777-300ER, they're gonna to point to it and say, by far, that's the airplane that is the best for our operations long term. 20 years after the worst crisis in aviation history, the long-term forecast for big twin engines is looking bright. And it's in no small thanks to our modern-day propulsion goliath, the GE90.